Yeah, Stephen, take a look behind me. Compared with the 2004 sinkhole, this one is a lot bigger and a lot more costly. Potentially, we're hearing maybe close to $100 million, and that's not the only reason that people are furious. Anthony Morocco needs to be accountable for this. At least admit that they were wrong. Somebody's got to stand up and help. Tonight, Action News is the only Detroit station with a crew in Palm Beach, Florida, working to get answers from absentee Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Anthony Morocco. Morocco has refused to cut his vacation short at his upscale second home, while the people who pay his salary suffer the wrath of a costly sewer pipe collapse. Morocco's top deputy today running out of excuses for his longtime boss, who only has two days left in office after losing the last election. Uh, this event took place Christmas Eve and it hit him, you know, blindsided him. We've learned the county could issue bonds to cover the new bill after all this damage here along 15 Mile between Hayes and Utica. It's not the people's fault. It's not the homeowner's fault that their house started sinking. It's not like they went down into the basement with sledgehammers. As of now, officials with Macomb County claim the broken pipe was inspected properly, but so far we've seen no records to back that up. This disaster, which began Saturday morning, still threatens to swallow one or more homes. In the meantime, crews have stopped pumping sewage to the nearby Clinton River. They've repaired a broken gas line and restored power to a nearby senior's home. As you can see, the road is still shut down, and remarkably, that house where it all started still standing. In the meantime, we will make sure that we stay on top of Anthony Morocco to get the answers you deserve. Live in Frazier, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.